They're called New York City's bravest. Firefighters save lives every day by risking theirs. But behind every firefighter is an unsung hero, an incident commander. An incident commander works behind the scenes from outside the burning structure. He is responsible for the outcome of a fire, the lives of his officers, and civilians in need of rescuing. Now you would imagine such an important job being backed by the best possible tools. Unfortunately, that isn't the case. Currently, commanders use radios to communicate with firefighters inside the building. But radios can be muffled and unreliable and make it difficult to have a clear understanding of the entire situation. Paper worksheets are also used to jot down notes, reminders, track resource consumption, and situational assessments. These worksheets are referenced during fires while making decisions. But they're handwritten, they're time consuming, and they're confusing. These tools don't seem to take into account the circumstances they're used in. Fires are unpredictable. And such incidents put a lot of pressure on all those involved. In these time-sensitive and life-threatening environments, commanders find their tension torn between managing incidents, listening to radio communications, and updating their worksheets. Simultaneously juggling these tasks makes commanders susceptible to human error. I knew technology could play a better role at preventing errors in critical situations. Insight is an incident command system that enhances awareness for fire officers by providing them with better tools to manage incidents. It enables commanders to focus more on their team and less on their tools, also allowing firefighters to concentrate on the tasks at hand. Here's how it works. An officer from the first engine to arrive, shown here in blue, establishes command by completing a radio report. Instead of taking notes on his worksheet, he uses insight to simply record the report. Speech is converted to text that he can later review and edit. Meanwhile, insight automatically tracks and saves basic information about the incident, such as the location, time, and weather conditions. Next, the commander walks around the burning structure to properly assess the situation. Using insight, he calibrates the system's floor plan data to the actual structure. Firefighters wear sensors that enable the commander to track their location and health status while they're in the building, so they aren't completely dependent on radio communications. The commander is also reminded to conduct other protocols, such as checking the air supply of his officers, and the stability of the structure every few minutes throughout the incident. As commanders are monitoring so many different things during a fire, Insight displays information that's easy enough to understand with a glance. When required, commanders have access to more information, which again is displayed simply. For example, air supply is displayed in minutes instead of tank capacity. This gives commanders an immediate sense of how much time they have to conduct an operation. The purpose of Insight is to enable the incident commander to pay more attention to the actual scene and radio communications. Only when something goes wrong does he really need to look at it. For example, he receives an alert that one of his officers, John, isn't moving. This officer is almost out of air and has a high heart rate. Insight knows that the commander will next need to identify the officers closest to John and displays this information up front. Now, John isn't responding to radio communications. He may be unconscious. But with Insight, the commander can view him on the dashboard and identify his location. The commander immediately notices that the officers that are closest to John are walking along the walls 
which is something they do when they have low visibility. So that floor is probably full of smoke. After confirming this via radio, he decides to send the rapid intervention team in to help. Now the dashboard also shows the commander that John is close to the window. So instead of sending this team into the building, he has them go around and rescue John through that window. This operation was executed much faster than what would have happened with the worksheets. With insight, valuable time, and John's life was saved. At the end of the incident, Insight assists the commander with reports. At a glance, he knows that no officers were left inside the building. Insight also provides statistics on how the crew performed, which could potentially improve the way officers train for these operations in the future. Most of the information is automatically generated for him. All he has to do now is review or edit and sign off. This was only one example, and the commander's job will never be an easy one. But design and technology can help him work more efficiently, be less prone to human error, and ultimately save more lives. I believe if designers and emergency personnel work together to power design thinking for better tools, other similar emergency situations can benefit as well. Thank you.